Hey everybody, I'm Sin. Welcome to the Book Nook. Today we're going to talk about a book called do, 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 All Day is a Long Time, Oh Shiny Shiny, by David Sanchez. It takes a look at the struggles of drug addiction and just kind of what this kid goes through uh, from the age of 14. So I'm going to put this up on the screen because I don't, it's shiny and I don't want to hold it. And yeah, mm, whining noises. There it is. Okay. All Day is a Long Time starts out and follows the life of a boy named David who, when he is 14, becomes addicted to crack. And it's kind of a fierce downward spiral from there. But the way this book is written, oh my goodness, it's... The way he describes stuff is so beautifully heart-wrenching and there's a point in the book too where it's going through like he's in this like haze of just being strung out and the days are all blending into one day where everything is the same and there's like weird repetition and hallucination of voices of hearing people that aren't there and it's so well described and you really see it as someone who has actually had a problem with drug addiction this book is one of the most i don't know well written ones i've read on the subject i feel and and it even like it has a, a kind of light at the end of the tunnel kind of thing where you know he gets out of it but then he falls back in and then he gets out again and it's really in all honesty like something like that like addiction is a lifelong struggle it never fully goes away and the way that this book was portrayed was just really really fantastic and the the way he describes stuff oh, i wrote i think i took a there's a paragraph i can't remember if i took a picture of it with my phone which i think i did and i want to read it to you guys because I really liked it. So this is just like a short paragraph out of the book, just to kind of give you an idea of how David Sanchez writes, because it wraps you up and entices you and just paints this picture that is beautiful and sad and just kind of uh, like a haze of a dream. So here's a, here's a sample from the book for you. We were reading The Sound and the Fury, which I had read once in the library, which I had cut through on a breeze of cocaine. The rhythm of the words solved something in my brain. As if they were a sort of combination on a padlock, an incantation, a spell that changed me for a moment, for an afternoon, and then wore off. When I stepped out of the library that day and waited for the bus, the sun was pleasant, the street noise, nothing but a fact of the world. And I thought about Quentin, whom I felt a sort of kinship with. A boy swallowed by his own head, like me, lost in the forest of timeless self. So lipsistic and obsessive, drawn to the past and sleepwalking into the future. And the whole book's written like this. Like, it's so eloquent, but yet you're describing addiction and the pain of that and what it does to people's families. And it's just so, oh man, it was such a good freaking book. Yeah, it was depressing, but it was also enlightening. And if you've ever known anyone who struggled with addiction, I think it paints a very accurate picture of what goes on. I highly recommend this book. I give this five stars. It was fantastic. Uh, this is a debut novel. I did not know that. There was a, another video where I talked about I had started reading the book and I was looking to see if he had other books, but it's a debut novel. From what I've gathered, some of this may come from his actual personal experience. Yeah, I randomly picked this one up at the library because I, I liked the cover and I liked the title and the synopsis sounded interesting and I had no idea that I was in for such a like emotional, sad but beautiful journey in this one. And I can't think like I've read other other books that have been about addiction or alcoholism and none have come close to this in the way that it's portrayed. All Day is a Long Time is absolutely breathtaking. 
the beauty and the sadness that are interlaced in the way that he writes like a a watercolor painting and the paint's still dripping down it so the perfection is never quite complete and there's no perfection in a life. And it's just a life story that was very beautiful, sad, yet beautiful. Thank you guys again for joining me today in the book nook. Uh, if you enjoyed your time, we talk about stuff and things, mainly books and bookish things. And sometimes I talk about weird stuff and tell you weird stories about dumb things I did when I was younger. So I guess that's fun. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, hey, hey, come back and see me again. Like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And then we'll talk about more books and more weird stuff. And uh, yeah, till next time. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. Talk like a gremlin. What does a gremlin sound like? I don't know. Every time we get to the end of this video, I say something dumb. So if you made it this far, you get to see me say something stupid because I don't know what to do at the end of these. And I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs>